Today we're talking about success and what it means to you. Hi, I'm Tracy. And I'm Jessica, and this is She's On Top, the place where we celebrate women. Last week we announced that we've launched a brand new website, and with that, a bi-weekly newsletter. If you haven't subscribed, you'll want to do that now. There's a link below. Why? Because there's all kinds of amazing content that's going in the newsletter that we don't share on YouTube. In our last video, we talked with Kelsey Ramsden. Kelsey is a very successful entrepreneur, and she's written a book called Surviving Success. We were really profoundly in, um, affected by this interview and we thought, what does success really mean? So we thought we'd discuss it in this blog and we'd also love to hear your feedback. It's what we're all sold, this idea of when you arrive, everything improves. And it does. Look, uh, you know, not having to worry about making your mortgage payment is amazing. But for me, feeling not good enough, not smart enough, not all the things enough that I've always felt didn't go away. It actually amplified it. It got worse. So at the same time that I was on the cover of all these magazines for being a business maven, I was sitting in my office on the floor uh, with my knees up against my chest, hoping no one would come in and find me. We wanted to talk about this because we heard it last week from Kelsey, but it's not the first time. We've heard it from a few of the people that we've interviewed that success isn't what they thought it would be. So we thought it made us think about our success and when we're going, right? Yeah, I, absolutely, I was listening last week to um, The Armchair Expert uh, with Dax Shepard, and he was saying that when he was at the height of his success, he was about 29, that he didn't feel happy. He was doing drugs. He was, you know, he was actually like shooting up. Like he was, it was really, really bad. And he said he realized that just because he became successful, it kind of amplified all the fears that he had. And I also went to a, an amazing talk last week uh, with John Cleese from Monty Python and oh, such a fantastic, fantastic speech. But he said too, he lived for about 10 years in Santa Barbara and he was surrounded by very successful, you know, well-established people. And they, they weren't happy, like they were looking for more, like if only they could make another 100,000, if only they could have a bigger house. And so even though it's just, they, it seemed like they had made it, uh, they still weren't happy. And it seems to happen at every single level. And it seems to be also that success, it doesn't stay static. Success is a changing thing. Like I think you can reach success and then it's like, what's next? And that's kind of something Kelsey talks about in this next clip. I think it's also important for people to know that at the back of every cocktail party that I go to, there are people who are talking to me about, uh, look, I wrote five New York Times bestselling books. I don't want to be a writer anymore, but what do I do? I spent my whole life trying to be the senior VP of finance at Insert Bank here, and now I have the office and I don't want to go in anymore insert any given success marker and people arrive and then evolve and find out that there's a whole lot of life yet to live and maybe they don't want to do that anymore. I actually love this quote because I actually think it's one of the scariest quotes for people because the idea that in all these walks of life, once you hit success, that you don't want to do it anymore, I think that's crazy frightening for people and something that they don't want to think about. Um, I saw a quote one time from Bon Jovi saying that once you reach the top of the mountain, you're just at the bottom of the next mountain. Um, and so it's just something that I think people don't discuss enough. It's true. We think when we get to a certain place, we'll be happy. But I think life is a journey. Um, my daughters gave me a gift for Mother's Day a few years ago, and it said, life is a journey, not a destination. And it's so true. I think you have to realize that if you get somewhere, that's not it. It's the journey that really matters. And maybe that's success, just being focused on the journey. I don't know, I'm throwing it out there, but so many people say over and over again when they get that big job, when they get married, when they get whatever it is they want, they think that's gonna make them happy. They get there, it's good for a moment, and then it's like, okay, I'm still not fulfilled. And it's funny because it's prompted Tracy and I, since we started this business, we keep changing our definition of success. I don't think that we've actually landed on it, have it? Because it can change weekly. We, one week you can want this, the next week it's that. And so it's something that I think you need to kind of keep your, keep your eye on in terms of where you're going. You have to have a plan. But I think attaching a feeling to an outcome is kind yeah. of a bit tricky, don't you think? I do, and that's what Kelsey talks about in the next clip. 
There's a feeling of success. That's actually what success is. It's having a feeling because all of the other things uh, can be bought and sold. And I call them plastic fantastic. There's a lot of people running around on credit looking like they're killing it and feeling dead inside. It's so true what Kelsey says about the feeling of success. Um, I find that in our business, we talk about what's successful. The fact that I am making, we are making these like short documentaries and these vlogs. I love that. The fact that I'm getting to shoot, which I've always wanted to be doing is like, you know, shooting video content. I love the fact that I'm getting to meet all these really cool women. I love that. I actually feel really successful. You know, maybe we don't have a hundred thousand subscribers on YouTube yet, but I actually feel kind of successful. So it is a feeling. And I think actually that that's the key that I think, you know, they always say that success will only amplify what's already there. So if you're unhappy now, just like Kelsey said, it's going to make you, it's just going to amplify that unhappiness. So I actually think success is, you have to find it now and then grow as it goes along. And then at each stage, definitely you'll, you'll feel, you know, really, really good when you reach success. But I think if you think that's going to cure a feeling, then there's something to look at. Like, what is it that you're not feeling now that you think more money, more stuff, more notoriety is gonna fix? Yeah, I watched Brene Brown. She has this new um, video up on Netflix. You have to watch it, it's amazing. But at the end, you know, she talks about vulnerability and all those things, but she talks about gratitude. And when she studied people, and there's been other TED Talks about it too, that people who are grateful, if you practice gratitude, you actually will feel successful because you can look at all the little things in your life and focus on those as opposed to focusing on what you don't have. And it's true because I saw another great quote which basically talked about, somebody said, look around at everything in your life. Everything you have now in your life was something that you once wanted. Something that you thought, God, I couldn't, you know, whether it's your house or maybe it's furniture, maybe it's that new dress. They're all things that you were like, when, if I could have that, I'll feel this you probably don't even look at them anymore or notice them. So it's a big wake up call around that, that it's like, I think that the thing that I love about what you just said about gratitude is it actually reminds you every day to look at those things that you already have and go, oh wow, I actually, it's pretty good. Yeah, and it, which comes down to also being present. You know, a lot of people talk about being present, which is actually really hard to do, but I think being present and being grateful come hand in hand. And I know that sometimes when I get out of sorts and I feel not successful or unhappy, it's because I'm looking into the future, like, you know, what I want, or I look into the past, what I had, and when I focus on being present and being grateful, I feel successful, I feel happy. And you can see really great examples of people who have become extremely successful and haven't changed. And my hero, one person I really love is Warren Buffett. The man is probably the wealthiest man in the world. I know he's the wealthiest man in North America. And he lives in the same house that he, that he originally bought. He still has the same hobbies. He just loves doing what he's doing, but he hasn't changed. He didn't, you know, he doesn't have yachts and several cars. And he actually started a fund to have people give away and donate most of their money because he's like, I don't need it. So it's a beautiful example of somebody who's made a lot of money, but it was just the joy of doing it that he kept connected to. Yeah. So you've heard our definitions of success or our thoughts around success. What's your definition of success? We would love to know. Please leave us a comment below. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button so you can notice all of our videos. And as we mentioned off the top, we also have a newsletter. So please go to our website and subscribe. See you next time.